Oh, yo, wow, it's a miracle. I decided finally, after about a month, to get off my ass and actually film some new content for you guys. And hey, in the time it took me to actually film some new content, I hit 500 subscribers, so thank you. Y'all are awesome. Anyway, allow me to get cracking into today's video. Now, today's video is once again brought to you by my current favorite punching bag, the concept of misrepresenting other people you've got beef with. And for whatever reason, it seems to be a common occurrence on this platform. Too common, as a matter of fact. My long-term viewers and subscribers know that I make a point of having some integrity behind my videos. Cantankerous, grumpy jerk as I may be, I try my best not to lie and bullshit about other people. If I've got beef with someone else, which... I quite frequently do. I do my utmost to make sure what I'm beefing with them about is accurate and what I'm getting at is accurate. It's based on things they've actually said or actually done. Problem is a lot of people don't roll like that. I mean within the last couple of years it's been more apparent to me that a lot of people I deal with generally deal in bullshit and misinformation and deliberately mischaracterizing people. See, originally I'd planned to film this video and talk about how it seems to be a common trait with big YouTubers, but realistically, it seems to be a common tactic regardless of how big or small people's channels are. Look at the modicum of people that I've had issues with, and a lot of them go straight to the bullshit as a counterpoint. I mean, it doesn't matter how big they are, literally or figuratively. You look at that tosser Mitch that I was having problems with earlier in the year who thankfully seems to have gotten bored with harassing me. His entire counterpoint was to go attempt to dig up dirt on me. He failed horribly and just resorted straight up to misrepresenting me as a way of talking shit. Everyone called him on his bullshit and away he went. But then it also happens with people I've had beef with like Undertaker Freak 1127 and like I say, my favorite current punching bag, Hunter Avalon. Both guys deal in misrepresentation. In fact, it's Hunter's bread and butter, and John was pretty fond of it too. I don't know if he still is. I don't know if he's making rant videos on anybody anymore. But it was John's bread and butter, and when it came to me, John loved trying to pull that shit, mainly because he had no dirt on me. Misrepresentation's pathetic. It really is. I hate that shit. Like I say, if I got beef with someone, I'm going to come at you with the facts. I'm going to state what they've done, why I don't like what they've done. I'm not going to make up some bullshit, you know. Like, if me and one of my mates has a falling out, I'm not going to make a video like, let's say, for example, Zach the Celtics guy has an illegal diamond mine in him and Steve's apartment, damn I. No, I'm going to state the facts. Because that's honesty. A misrepresentation to me is some bullshit, because not only is it disrespectful to the person you're talking about, it's potentially misleading because in the case of big YouTubers, their fandoms are fucking dumb a lot of the time, and they will buy whatever the big YouTubers say, no matter how wrong it is. It's also incredibly disrespectful to your audience. Because these are the people that are why you're at where you're at. These are the people that watch your content. These are the people that listen to you. And you're outright lying to them. You are misrepresenting someone else and smearing them. But you're also lying to your audience. And that shit doesn't wash with me. I don't like that. I can't co-sign that. I can't co-sign gaining clout based on dishonesty. I mean, let's be real here. If I wanted to be an absolute gobshite, I could sink Hunter with the following. I want to have sex with children. But that's out of context and it has a proper context. It's not what it looks like right there and then. But if I were dishonest, I could present it how I've clipped it there and sink the motherfucker because some people out there would take that at face value. But it's not. There is a context to that. I mean, there are other people I've had problems with that have tried resorts misrepresentation. Two of them are literally insane, and the other one are dusty nuts, and I can hear the sound of screaming from people who need to shut the fuck up somewhere over on the other side of the world, just by mentioning that name. 
The Dustin Nunn, someone who's tried throwing misrepresentation in my way and making up shit about me. But, Dustin's an idiot. I think he's too stupid to be malicious on that front. I just think in that tiny, feeble, retarded little brain of his, what he says is how he sees it. So, I can't really fault Dustin for that one particular character flaw. But you look at John, and you look at me and John's beef last year. I made that 40 minute video where I categorized why John's a lying, hypocritical, bitter scumbag. John countered it with lies, lies, and more bullshit. And that's been John for ages while we've had ongoing drama. It's John's favorite tactic. Like, John's big thing last year was Damien Skyfire is a bigoted, lying hypocrite who makes up shit about me and everything he says is wrong, and especially the whole bigotry. I am the kicker. Damien's a bully. Yeah, the thing is, a lot of that was just a smear campaign on John's part talking shit. Going, Damien's a liar, Damien's a bully, Damien's a bigot. So what happens? John talks a lot of shit. I'm like, well, here's where you're wrong, slap nuts, and here's why. You've got nothing. You had a bunch of my friends who are from all sorts of different backgrounds come in and tell them, you're full of shit, John. Damien's never treated me any different because I'm different. Rather than putting his hand up and showing some fucking class, John tries telling them that their moral character must be disgusting too because they're friends with me. You know, these people that John's claiming to speak on behalf of. There's no personal vendetta there. No, it's John Dance Jr. Nice guy. But that's John's bread and butter and I'm not the only one he's done it to. There are plenty of people out there who have their John try to misrepresent me stories. It's something John does because he's always got to be the victim. And what better way to be a victim when you're in the wrong than by twisting shit. And with that said, I'm once again going to get onto Hunter Avalon. And I'm sure some people are sick of hearing me bitch about Hunter, but I really don't care because those people don't matter. But regardless... Hunter loves this shit. This is what Hunter does for a living when he's not trying to pull the debate me bro bullshit. It's misrepresentation, and because his fans are fucking stupid, they eat it up. His fan base is worse than Onision's, man. Like, Hunter's fan base are just a toxic bunch of fucking morons. And Hunter knows this, and Hunter knows that they just listen to anything he fucking says, and accepts it as fact. Let's look at that debate with Ranting Monkey. He got schooled. He got his shit kicked. He got his freaking heart torn out of his throat and fed back to him. So he posts the debate to his own channel, calls it bad faith, and tries to frame it that he won somehow because Ranting Monkey and Mr. Jack were being bad faith because they disagreed with Hunter and proved Hunter didn't know what he was talking about. Somehow Hunter won in spite of the fact that there were a couple of times where Ranting Monkey and Mr. Jack caught him out and proved he didn't know what the fuck he was on about. You could tell because Hunter was very, very quiet and suddenly didn't have a hell of a lot to say, yet somehow he won. And it's not the only instance. BX Beast Boy, Hunter has tried to characterize as someone who advocates sexual assault and claimed that he was lusting after Hunter's wife. When the reality is, what BX Beast Boy did was, BX Beast Boy disagreed with Hunter's idea for a uh, certain preventative measure for sexual assault. BX Beast Boy pointed out realistically that it didn't work and why it didn't work, and Hunter warped that as per usual. There's also the fact that BX Beast Boy said that Hunter's wife needed a real man. The context was the whole, I'm a fuck your bitch. You know, everyone's done it to someone, you know. Hey, you're a bitch. Your woman needs a real man. You're calling someone out, you're attacking their manhood. But Hunter's claiming this is, This guy's actually lusting after my wife. When Hunter's talked enough shit about people, Hunter knows exactly what he's doing, but oh no. Hunter's got to discredit BX Beast Boy because... He can't argue to save himself. Graphically Alex, after that debate, Hunter claimed he won when he didn't. Hunter then took Alex's follow-up video... Started bullshitting about him, started claiming Alex was coping and started inventing this bullshit out of nowhere. The video was Alex just sitting there talking about the debate, recapping on the debate, talking about how proud he was of himself. Hunter uploaded a response 
where he both heavily implied and outright said graphically Alex was coping because he lost with no proof. And this is a special form of fucking stupidity. Because this isn't just Hunter misrepresenting the guy. This is Hunter posting the actual video and going, what he's doing on screen at the moment isn't what he means. With no actual proof. But his fan base ate that up because, like I say, six chins, three brain cells on all of them. Then there's my buddy Zach, the Celtics guy, where Hunter has twice tried to call Zach out and misrepresented him by taking what Zach said out of context and tried sicking his sycophants on Zach. So you've got a bunch of these little slow kids fucking sitting there who've never met Zach, never talked to Zach, calling him all sorts of hideous shit when they've never met the guy. So how the fuck can you come to that conclusion other than your punchable-faced Italian dickhead of a Lord Master told you this is how to think and you just went along with what he said. And this is what I mean about misrepresentation. It's dishonest. You lie about people to try and slander them, but a lie is not the truth. And I know that's a no-shit Sherlock statement to make, but you've got to explain it to some people because they're sitting there trying to act like if I lie hard enough, then suddenly that will twist the truth and make the person I'm trying to look bad look bad based on deception. It's entirely dishonest, and I could not in good conscience do that. And I guess that's what separates me from these people. I mean, in the case of the shit-tier trolls like the Mitches of the world, it's no big, it's just some random idiot. They're fun to verbally tear a new one, but at the end of the day, it's just some fat fucking dumbass talking shit, so who cares? The problem is when you get to the Johns, when he used to have his 40,000 subscriber channel, or the Hunters, where they've got a huge reach and they can actually do damage to people. Because some of their fans will go, hang on, something's fucky here, I'm gonna think for myself, I don't like the conclusion that I'm coming to, I'm out. But a majority of them won't. A majority of them aren't smart enough. A majority of them are biased and will sit there and go, yeah, no, I know this guy, this guy wouldn't lie to me because I'm a fan of his, so this guy must be a fuckwit because he's telling me he's a fuckwit. They don't think for themselves, so they get lied to and they listen. It's dishonest. It is entirely dishonest in its character assassination. It's fucking pathetic. To me, nothing is worse than a YouTuber who lies and misrepresents other people. Lies about and misrepresents other people, I should say. You're disrespecting your audience, you're building a beef based on dishonesty, and you're proving that you've really got no integrity at the end of the day. And to me, that's something fucking important as a content creator. Having that integrity and being honest. If you don't like what the person said, cool. Present it as you don't like what they said. You don't like what they've done. And present that as is. Don't edit shit out of context. Don't fucking lie about shit. Don't gaslight people. Present the fucking facts. It's not that hard if you've got any merit or if you're a YouTuber worth your damn soul. It ain't difficult. I go out of my way to have integrity and to present facts to people. Now, do I fuck things up sometimes? Yeah, sure, of course. We all do. We all make mistakes. We're all human. But I'm never ever going to deliberately go out of my way to lie about someone and bullshit about someone. If I've got beef with someone, I'm going to present why i got beef with them. And if people don't like that, okay, whatever. And if I'm in the wrong in that situation, well, fucking so be it. It happens. But I'm not gonna fucking slander someone and invent bullshit. I've never been a fan of that. And I'm never gonna do it. And like I say, if you're a YouTuber who does this, you got no fucking credibility. You're hard to believe. It's bullshit. Don't insult other people like that. Don't sully your own fucking channel like that, I guess is the best way to put it. Don't lie to your fucking fans and don't be a dickhead. Don't misrepresent people. That's all I'm saying. I'm Damien Skyfire.